Hello there, I'm Zena James with your weather forecast. Now today, as expected, that plume of moisture started bringing in some cloud cover, interrupting our sunny skies with partly cloudy intervals. Now our satellite imagery confirms the increased cloud cover, particularly over southern parts of Trinidad, but rainfall remained minimal with just about two millimeters in San Fernando, one millimeter in Arima, but zero millimeters elsewhere. Unfortunately, the clouds that we did have did not do too much to cool things down. Priyaka recorded a high of 33.1, while Tobago reached 31.7. Those temperatures are certainly climbing. Now onto something exciting happening in the skies tonight that we heard about earlier, the total lunar eclipse. A reminder that this is when the Earth moves directly between the sun and the moon, casting that shadow that gives the moon that reddish hue, earning it that blood moon name. Now for us here in Trinidad and Tobago, we are in a prime position to witness this celestial event as we lie in the path of that total lunar eclipse. Now this is what the progression of the blood moon will look like throughout the night at 12:55 a.m the full moon will shine in all its glory by 2:26 a.m it will start taking on that reddish hue deepening to a maximum total eclipse by 2:59 a.m when the moon will appear at its darkest red by 3:31 a.m the eclipse will end and the moon will gradually start to return to its normal hue but will the weather allow us to see it? Well, in Trinidad, the night will start off mostly clear, but wait for it as we move further into the night, increasing cloudiness is expected with the possibility of light to moderate showers. So there is a chance we'll get just a small glimpse before the clouds roll in. Temperatures will dip to a cool 22 degrees. So if you're stepping outside to see the blood moon, you might want to bring a jacket. Over in Tobago, skies should remain mostly clear for a longer period of time with only a few isolated showers expected closer to the morning. This means Tobago may have a bigger gap to see that eclipse. The nighttime low will come in around 24 degrees. Now, once the moon sets, sunrise will be around 6.15 a.m., while sunset will come in at 6.15 p.m. Looking ahead to Friday, Trinidad can expect that moisture to remain and bring partly cloudy day, but you will get that cloudiness increasing and some rainfall in the early morning. Now that, that cloudiness will remain for a bit before it starts to clear up by the afternoon. Our temperatures will be a bit cooler tomorrow, coming in at 30 degrees or even 31. Over in Tobago, you will experience similar conditions with variable cloudiness and a few passing showers, but the afternoon should also see some some improvement. The daytime high will come in at 31 degrees. Across our seas, conditions remain moderate with wave heights up to two meters in open waters and below one meter in sheltered areas. Now with the blood moon in effect, spring tides remain in place, meaning the high and low tides will be more exaggerated than usual. Mariners and coastal interests should exercise caution. Now I hope you get a chance to witness this spectacular event tonight and don't forget to tag us in your blood moon photos and videos at TTT Live Online. 